In this video, I'm gonna be continuing my series on kind of teaching classic bunch passing concepts that we find weaving their way into other formations as the meta has continued to evolve over the last several years. And so we find ourselves back in the West Coast playbook. This has been the best bunch playbook for years. I do think it is still at least a top three to four uh, bunch in this year's game, if not the best bunch. And it's because of this play deep attack. This play deep attack combined with stick and some of the classic from Bunch are super, super effective. Now, if you want to learn how I run the Bunch, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've got several different versions of Bunch eBooks. I think I've got four or five different Bunches broken down over there. And all of those eBooks update as we find new concepts. So if you want to become a Patreon member, you get access to everything for just $10. The link is down in the description. The play we're looking at today is Deep Attack. I think one of the best plays in Madden 23 because of how good this post route on the backside is you'll see right here against man coverage that's going to cut inside and it is going to beat man coverage pretty much every single time and the beauty of this is we can go back and forth between our post route which is really good and then we also have a c route and so we can kind of play these games with the solo receiver what makes bunch so good is really a lot of things it has the best routes in the game it has great alignment it also has you know this trips concepts over here and then it has two man games over here that you can run and so this is actually one of the similarities between bunch and trips tight end is that you have three wide receivers on one side of the field and then you have a solo uh, in this case a solo wide receiver sometimes you have a solo tight end um, but this is a very very effective route uh, and so we want to build around it so the best way to build around deep attack is to put routes next to it and so i'm going to draw on some madden 17 route combos that are super good still in this game and all we're going to do is we are going to put our tight end on a five yard in route we're going to streak our slot receiver and we're going to slant our backside receiver what we're going to do with the slant this year is so good just motion him out you want to snap it just before he sets his feet and then now you're going to have a very very good and very evenly spaced route concept that is going to be able to attack the entire field one of the things that a lot of people like to do to slow down corner routes uh on the bunch side is they love to put they love to put this guy on the bunch side here in an outside third and then maybe they have a little robber over the middle that could kind of imitate their user the beauty of this deep attack play is this post route oftentimes is going to light up against man coverage and you can throw this all the way across the field now if they have deep route ko's and inside shades they have a little bit of a chance at being able to stop you but realistically the deep attack is one of the best plays in the game now another thing i want to quickly hit on is if they don't have safety help in this game and they try to play you in press man coverage cd lamb is going to light up because he has a short out elite ability and this is going to fry man coverage over the top. Short out elite is the most important ability, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions, for being able to consistently attack man coverage. So now what they have to do, if you think about it, is they have to play, they have to play you in a little bit of a different light. Um, they have to they have to kind of play off coverage for lack of a better word. Uh, and so because they have to play this off coverage, it's going to leave up a lot of stuff underneath one of the things we have underneath is this easy little in route to the tight end matchup nightmare short and elite super consistent against man coverage you can also if you want to feel free to put the tight end on a drag um the drag will get across the field a little bit quicker but it won't be as consistent against man coverage um as you see right there sometimes you'll miss the throw um because that's the game we play this year but the bottom line is the drag is really good. The other thing that we're seeing a lot in this year's game is a 30-yard cloud on the bunch side to try to combat some of the things that people can do. And then this backside concept right here, kind of these bracketing concepts, very popular in this year's game. Um, so what we can do with this route combination is if the user decides, hey, I've got to be pretty intentional about taking away this motion slant because it's the best route in the game this year, one of the better routes then this post route is now isolated one-on-one -on -one, and you have potential to just absolutely destroy uh, man coverage with this post route. Now, let's talk. spend just a few minutes here touching on zone coverage and zone concepts. If someone is running any kind of zone, this is one of the best ways 
uh, to attack zone because if they're not playing hard flats, that route right there is going to get wide open every single time and you want to take that route every single time because what that does is now we have to, even if we're playing like, let's say we're playing like cover two, we have to have a coverage that looks something like this. We have to have double flats or double Mabel where we're honoring the flats on both sides because you can attack the flats quickly on both sides within this. And then you can also attack that route right there. Now, again, they have a KO, a deep zone KO. Yeah, they have a shot. Um, I'm going to show you how to avoid KOs here. So let's say that they go with like a, you know, kind of standard zone. Again, they're trying to come underneath to try to stop your drag. Just highball this in space. If it has a lot of space, you can highball it over the middle. And so what all this does is it puts the user in conflict. That's what we're all about. So we're able to put the user in a ton of conflict. So the user says, okay, I've got to go guard that solo receiver on his, on his deep route because he's the best route on the field. That's where this motion slant becomes so good because late in the play, it's going to come right over the middle right here and just sit under every single zone. This is one of the best passing concepts in the entire game because of its ability to attack both man coverage and zone coverage. Here's what it does against cover four. Again, you can throw this, you know, kind of right in there. You just want to ag back to the ball, keep it away from the KOs. Deep attack is one of the best plays in the game this year because of its consistent ability. It gives you a, a route that really you can't hot route anymore at a bunch. You can't get that sharp cutting post or even that like, you know, flip bunch crosser concept that we used to do. You can't get that stuff in bunch anymore. And this play is just so good, especially if you have a great solo receiver like Harold Carmichael. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, head down to the description and click the link down below.